All right, everybody out there in YouTube land, this is yours truly, Rock and Dave, the real deal, North Fort Myers, Southwest Florida. And uh, this is actually a video to anyone out there, but especially to uh, a good YouTube friend of, uh, friend of ours, um, John Power. I believe, John, you had mentioned you bought a golden um, nylon string. I mean, it might be nylon string or just could be just steel string, but you got a golden guitar that has the access to the guitar synthesizer, okay? And you're thinking about getting the GR55. Well, right here, I'm going to do a demo with our Breed Love and with the Hex pickup. See, you will not need to get this um, if, you have, if you have your guitar already equ equipped with the 13 pin output you will not need that pickup so therefore if you buy the GR55 you could actually just buy the the, uh, the unit itself without the package deal and make sure though you get the cable with the 13 pin um, if you do buy it as a package you'll just have that extra pickup for like another guitar you might want to uh, uh, put it on you know later if you get another guitar which wouldn't be a bad idea. But let me show you exactly how I'm running this. We are running this directly into our Bose L1 Compact system. I believe you said this is what you have. Now, this is how we have it. We have it hooked up to this channel right here, and it's directly into, it, you know, if you got the Bose L1, you know that this channel has XLR, basically for the microphone. However, you can, get, you can hook an instrument to it, but just be aware of your volume. Be very careful because it's going to be very hot. Here is your both uh, line and acoustic, and you have quarter inch input. You have uh, RCA, and you also have uh, an eighth inch input, which I forgot about. But I have the switch set to line, and uh, because basically the acoustic guitar is going through a line source. So this is how I have this. I only have the guitar. Uh, plugged in from the uh, 13 pin I am not using my guitar output I'll show you what what you'll get with that in another video but basically what this will do will split this it'll split your signal now I'm, I'm, I have not done this I think you can get inside here and assign the headphone out where it'll mix both a guitar and synthesizer um, but I, at this moment, it doesn't do that. So when I plug into my headphones, only the synthesizer sound comes out. So basically how I have this set, um, which is what I really recommend, have the guitar output, if you're going using an acoustic guitar, um, have the guitar output at least go into a reverb pedal, and then a reverb pedal into the mixer. Um, you might have the mixer for this. If not, we use either the uh, Elise's, um, 8 channel or the uh, Yamaha 8 channel mixer um, it works for us it was you know we've, we had the other leases so we didn't need to buy another mixer because you can buy the one separate however if you do buy the Bose uh, mixer that's fine you're just going to have an extra input make sure you split your guitar because as it stands right now the only way you're going to hear my acoustic guitar is acoustically I'm recording this by the way on the Zoom Q8 camera, and I'm not using the direct inputs. I'm exactly using the, the microphone because I want you to get the sound that you're going to really, what, what's going to really sound like. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead, and the patch I have on this is a delayed Les Paul plus stack. So it's like running a, a Les Paul into a Marshall stack overdriven with a delay. So, this is what's really cool with this unit. You do have some guitar effect processing in here. So, it's not just a synthesizer. You, you, you could use it with your electric guitar. You could blend the two together. What you're basically hearing out of this is everything out of the box. 
I, I think there's only a couple patches I might have gotten in and changed the little things here and there. Uh, but I was very satisfied with what I have, so with the sounds. And it can be a little tedious getting in there, and I haven't done it in a while. So if there's something that sounds good to my ears and I like it, I tend to just keep it like that. Um, you have an expression pedal that you can assign certain things. Now here I'm going to go up one more patch here, this thing called Moody Strings. Now here the, the uh, volume pedal is assigned. So I could fade that out. What's really nice with this is if I just want acoustic, and then if I want to fade in the uh, strings, I could do that. This is a pretty cool feature. On my switch here, I've got for bass guitar. Now, since I don't have the signal split, you can't hear this, but when I use the signal split, meaning the guitar output and the synth, I can combine. Um, you could hear a little bit of bass coming out, but not a whole lot. Because what I have, how I have to set, I only have the bass sound coming out of the um, the uh, low strings, the low E, A, and D string, where the uh, high, the G, B, and high E don't have that. So I could blend, I could play a D minor chord, and then hit my open D, and blend it in. So it's it's a really cool feature there. Now, I know there, there are ways you can assign the expression pedal to each and every patch. I haven't gotten into doing anything like that. Uh, but it's a good idea to learn how to do that because when you want to pull the bass out, you can. And then you'll still have your guitar output. This will not affect your guitar output, which this is what I like about this. Okay, so, and then here I think got solo flute. So here, the uh, expression pedal is assigned to it. So I really think that's a good feature. And, and again, certain, certain patches are going to have a delay and a reverb. And you can always add those in later directly from this. So I think this does have a little bit of delay. No, it's got actually reverb. And like I said... I, this is directly guitar synthesizer directly into the Bose L1. There's nothing in between. So let me just give you a little bit of. Uh, there, of course, here's the, the Les Paul. Now, if you're using a nylon string guitar, this is still going to work. You just won't be able to bend as much as you will on a steel string. But there's a way to get around that. Instead of doing like a whole step bend, you could do a whole step slide. That's, um, or here's a good example. I'm playing a melody using no bends, but just going up to the next, you know, half step or whole step increment. see it it sounds pretty cool pretty cool there here is a 80s stacked piano and what this is referring to you have that 1980s like electric piano with soft strings behind it so with the foot pedal down this you get this now if I pull the pedal back, I only get strings. Real soft fading in strings, which I like. So it's a really, really cool, uh, 
cool feature. And then you have all kind of different effects in here, but I'm gonna go to one that sounds pretty cool. Now here, you have an acoustic guitar sound with voices blend together. With this, with the pedal up, you only get the acoustic guitar sound. So this is the simulated guitar, acoustic guitar sound out of the Roland. As I fade in, I can fade in the voices, and of course, when I leave that down, this is what I get. And of course, the harder you hit the strings, the more dominant certain effects are going to come out. This really is a great tool, and it is all metal casing. The outputs stick out very far, so you nothing's gonna get loose with this thing. And of course, I always try to keep things, you know, away so people don't step on cords. If you know, because you know, if you have the amp behind you and you just got a little bit of a walkway, you still have cords come out. Anyways, uh, we got a little bit of a barrier thing we put across so no one could step on it. But it's a great, great unit. The screen is backlit, so this screen, you will be able to see this if you do an outdoor gig. I've used this on outdoor gigs, and the sun would happen to be shining on it, and I could still see my programs, which this is another great thing I like. So here you got uh, another thing called voice pad. So it sounds like there's an octave divider on the low string. Some of these, some of these patches they have multiple effects that's assigned to different strings that you could blend them, which is a really great feature. And you're gonna have, you're gonna have all kind of effects that you know you might not use. This is what I use in the intro to uh, Pandemic Outbreak. It's called Armageddon. expression pedal or if you want an immediate fade you know you could you could fade it out quicker also with the uh, with the expression pedal now to keep in mind watch this I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna go to foot switch number two it does not like trail which is I kind of wish it would there might be a function in there that I can get it to trail. You know, I've had this for a few years now, and I have not gotten into everything in depth because of all the gigs that we're doing. So, um, if it's something that you get, you know, and you take the time with it, you're going to find there's so much stuff you could do with this. That's what's called super low brass. Okay, that, feed, that fades in too. So there is a 
there's so much stuff you could do with this. With uh, let's just, yeah, that'll fade. So here's something really cool. With the remember marimba, you could do especially doing Latin uh, rhythms. Latin rhythms mixed with let's say a melody. It tracks real good. And then like I said, when you do have this split where you run it into the acoustic guitar into another amp, you're gonna hear the blend. I just wanted to show you exactly what this thing sounds like. And there, again, there's just so much stuff that's in here. It's incredible. So if I grab this flywheel, and I go to, oh, where is that at? We have, that's a dad gad tuning with a phaser. Blackmore. This is more of a Blackmore sounding, um, like a mix with the uh, the B3 organ and uh, the strap. So I know this. This will be a uh, wah delay experiment. Oh, I see. Um, so it's like there's a wah on. I know maybe I have to hit the pedal harder. No. So you're going to have, this is kind of like an auto wah where it's not going to move. When it says the CTL, that means your controller. Here, you're not getting any delay, but when you hit this, this is cool. You have rock and cathedral. So with the pedal back, you're just getting distorted guitar. When you fade the pedal in, you can get the pipe organ. So I think it's this one I could do. This has a function where you hit this, it'll hold the pipe organ, and you could solo over it with the distorted guitar. Really, really cool. Um, let's see. Guitar, brass, and strings. So this is like the GR uh, synth brass plus the strings. There are certain things that I don't use it. Here's a feedback guitar. with an organ sound. Some 
Symphonic Rock. This is almost the same as the Cathedral, um, with a little bit more strings. So, uh, like I said, it's when you get this, you'll see what I mean when you walk, you go through everything. Here's nylon string guitar with strings. Okay, so both of them. This is almost like a phase shifter when you, one of the effects. So you're going to find that there's going to be certain things that you're going to like and certain things you're not going to like. Here's uh, this is supposed to be grand piano. some really cool stuff that is in here. like it's going to hold the chord so if I play a B minor as I solo just the acoustics coming out you see how it fades now again, if you hit the switch, it just cuts it off, or if you go to the next parameter, let's see. It just cuts it off right away. So you see how that... Synthesizer lead. Oh, and it does come with the different tools. Like a pitch bender. So it's definitely something you need to experiment with. Here's acoustic 
12 string plus string plus strings Here's this 12 So the low octave you're going to hear is the string section of low octave. This is what's really cool with this. So let's say for this situation, the strings, you want to split the high uh, treble strings to be more to mid-high side, and then your low bass strings on the guitar more on the bass sound. You could do that but by main, and still maintain just the acoustic guitar patch just as a regular sound without splitting the octaves. So there's a lot of cool things you could do with this. Here's bass and string. This is really cool. This is a real cool feature here. Um, it's called bass and strings. With the expression pedal with the toe down, this is what you get. You get a combination of bass, guitar, and strings. Watch this. So here, you're getting a combination of, with the heel down, you're getting pipe organ and strings. And then when you bring the toe down, you're getting bass guitar and strings. Really, really cool. I've used this in several things I've done in the past with um, uh, some of my guitar shows this thing is great man I think you're making you're gonna make a really good uh, uh, purchase with this <laughs> So I hope this does help. Um, this is just basically scratching the surface of what you could do with this thing. Um, again, when you split your signal, and especially when you split the signal and you go take your guitar to a reverb pedal, you know, here's what I would suggest. If you could get an acoustic, if you're using an acoustic guitar, and you want to stay using an acoustic guitar, I would get an acoustic guitar effect processor that when you sit, turn the, the effects off, it'll do a true bypass, but one that has an expression pedal. Because, see, you could fade in guitar, you could also fade in synthesizer. You have a lot more control what you could fade in and fade out during the live performance. And this is really where all the magic comes in to play because now you could, you could blend certain sounds in together. And uh, again, this is running directly into the Bose L1 Compact system. So um, now here, if I hold this switch down, I have to hit it like this, my up and down. Your function might be different on your um, Golden. But this is really cool, man. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. I got no quarter here. I used to have, I used to have a organ in here, but I think now I got um, a uh, horn section. And it's set where I could bring the, the pedal, I could turn it off with my foot. So if I'm playing something like this. So 
Well, there's a lot of cool things you could do with this. And like I said, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> this was helpful for anyone thinking about purchasing this thing again if you buy just a unit itself it, it, it should be cheaper because you're not getting no package deal but if you do want to spend the extra hundred bucks or whatever it is I, I'm sure the price might have come down on this a little bit um, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to get the whole package I and mean, with the whole package you get this controller and it will work on a steel string acoustic it will not work on a nylon string that's a different animal your golden actually has it. So anyways, my friends, till next video, you stay safe, you stay true, rock on, and God bless you, my friends. Take care.